I don't think that Bitcoin relies on XRP to price this. That's for sure. Josh Shigala, everyone's waiting on XRP. Uh, no. <laughs> um, and he can just, you know, he has everyone on the, the end of the phone group. Adam Back was calling, you know, Jack Marley's boom, he was calling. Um, Jack Dawson, probably. Hello, and I'm very proud to announce the release of a new extension called Streamer Copilot for LM Bits. It uses uh, Open Broadcaster, which is a free and open source piece of software a lot of video content creators use. Um, that now has a new function called Start Virtual Camera, which if I can press i can't press it now because i'm recording but if i press it it will anything in this window will be streamed um as a, a webcam feed which you can then use in your zoom or jitsi meeting so we can take that and then using alan bits we can add a little qr code so people can tip us um, and then when they tip us it will you know trigger little animations and we can also pull in the price feed as well um, so that's basically what streamer copilot does so let's open this up. Let's make a new copilot instance title, the Bitcoin group. That's a weekly um, show about Bitcoin on World Crypto Network uh, YouTube. So go check that out. Um, I'm going to include the payment QR code. I'm going to show um, messages. So if we go to uh, awesome LN URL, which is the um, a list of important LNURL information, there is a table here, and you will see that for LNURL pay, um, all these wallets with this little dot, dot, dot thing next to it, they're um, wallets which support the ability to be also to also send a comment when you make a payment. Okay, so LNBits, LNTX, Bot, Phoenix, and Thunderhub, and Blix also all support it. Oh, Zebedee and Zeus as well. Uh, this list, you know, more and more people support it as time wears on because it's a very useful function. Anyway, so if you trust your audience and you click on that, then when they send a payment, they can make a comment and that comment will appear on the screen. So you have to trust your audience. Wallet, I'm going to select this wallet here, payment threshold. So first animation I'm going to go for is a Bitcoin and that's from 10 sats, okay? Um, second animation is I'm going to go for Rick from 20 sats. Uh, and you'll notice as well, there's a little webhook thing here so if you put in a url here that webhook will get hit when you receive a payment i'm not going to do that but that makes it very easy to you know integrate this into um if this and that type stuff um message please tip me currently you can set three payment fresh thresholds for little animations to be triggered um, i'll probably increase that l later on uh, for now i'm only going to use two on here for this demo Show price, yes, and I'm gonna go for GBP because I'm in Wales. Show powered by LM Bits. You don't have to tick that, but we do appreciate if you do. That'll just give us a little, you know, acknowledgement on the screen. Create co-pilot. Now, if I click on this little button here, panel, it will open up a, a, a little window for my remote control. Um, I can open the compose window from here or from here, but I think it's easier and better if you open it from here. Oh, there we go. And now it's connecting uh, to my webcam. You'll see that um, we're getting a NAN here for the price feed. So I think, you know, because it's using web sockets for the price feed and then also for the animations. If I click on the little animation thing, yeah, there we are. It didn't work. So I'm going to close this window, close this window, and then open it up again. And once it gets a connection to that web socket, oh, there we go. The confetti seems to work. Does the face work? Oh, you'll notice these animations get queued, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can click on a bunch and they'll queue one, one by one. So if someone sends you a tip, like, you know, you don't want, uh, you want, you know, if someone sends you more than one tip or multiple people send you the same tips at the same time, you want to kind of queue those uh, little animations. Now we're getting a, a price feed coming through as well, which is nice. Uh, so this is our composite window, um, which we're, uh, we can then pull into Open Broadcaster. So let's go to Open Broadcaster. Um, and then here we click on the little plus thing and we go to the window capture. Yes. And then, then we've got a couple of LM bits windows, Chrome windows. Let's try this one, shall we? Hey, nice. Um, okay. And then I'm going to just in open broadcast, which you can't see. I'm just going to re, oh dear. I'm just going to readjust it because I want to get rid of that um oh right yeah 
I actually have to resize the actual browser window a little bit. I want to get rid of, bear with me. Actually, when the um, window opens is kind of the right size already for this. So I just fiddled with it. There we go. Okay, cool. I just wanted to get rid of that URL bar at the top because it looks ugly. So there we are. Now that's what um, what you can see now is I suppose what would be streamed uh, if I unclick the little eye on Open Broadcast, this this little eye here, so that's that window which I can click on and off. There we are. Now this is what would be, you know, when you use your virtual camera, this is what would be streamed into um, your Zoom or your Jitsi. And I'm going to use my little remote control now to trigger an animation. Um, this is a more of a Bitcoin called Martin. He's laughing. It's a good. So there's a Bitcoin here. Um, but as well as that. I can also obviously do it through by making a payment. So if I scan that QR code, there we go. Blue wallet, please, for the love of God, make a little square thing on your scanner so I know how where to put the QR code. Much appreciated. Right, so I'm gonna pay that 10 sats. There we are. Look at that. Before it even settled on here, the animation appeared here. That's how fast these web sockets are. Brilliant. Um, now, let's try paying with... What wallet shall I use? I'll try and use... I'm going to try and use an Alan Bits wallet. And I'm going to scan. Oh, see, there we are. On Alan Bits, I can input a comment. So I'm going to input a comment. I'm going to say... Um, something unimaginative because it's not very creative and then 30 sats all right i'm going to click on send satoshis look at how fast it is that's insane before i'd even it feels like before i even press the button you get the message and then you get rick pop up there and that's basically it um, oh no, that's not it. In fact, if I let me unclick this, you can actually see on our little control panel we have um, we've got a share screen button here. So I'm going to turn on my window again, and then if I click on share screen, um, I get the option to share a screen. So what shall I share? Well, I don't want to share that. I'll share. I know I'll share my virtual um, VS code. Okay, so now I can, um, yeah, I can share the screen. Pretty cool. So I can do a demo, whatever. Do some technical analysis. Why not? Um, so how do I, oh yeah, go click on the share screen button again, and then hopefully I'll be back. There I am. All right, cool. So using... I've got so many windows open now. <laughs> Using uh, LM Bits Copilot, you can make that window. People can tip you. They get a little animation. Nice little way of getting some audience feedback. Um, and then, you know, you've also got that little controller, which you can use as well to trigger the animations yourself or trigger a screen share. Occasionally, you have to open the window like twice to get it to run. So, you know, when you first open that Compose window, just check press one of these buttons and if it works and the web sockets are working and I actually left this um, overnight uh, by accident and when I came back to my computer the uh, web sockets were magically working still so um, yeah it's it's a pretty resilient uh, service so it should work the uptime should be good um, but yep thanks for watching and uh, have fun with this and I hope you find it useful you don't have to use it just for you know creating YouTube videos you could also just when you join a zoom or Jitsi meeting you know uh, run it through this and then you know spread the awareness about bitcoin tell them how it works um and uh yep yeah, and also you've got that little price feed there to make people feel anxious or happy i suppose anyway thanks for watching